everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today it is Wednesday, October the 23rd of 2024. You guys will be seeing this on Thursday, October the 24th of 2024. I'll catch you guys with another day of Vlogtober, Vlogtober day number 11. Um, and yeah, so just gonna take you guys along for another day in the life. So I'm about to head over to Kroger and do my Kroger deals video. But before that, I wanted to make a pit stop to a local family dollar store here in my town that unfortunately will be closing in a couple of weeks, which is really, really sad. Um, now keep in mind, my town has so many dollar stores. We literally have three other family dollar stores to my knowledge that are not closing. So I mean, we're still gonna have family dollar. However, this is one of the older ones that's been here a really long time. And I've actually couponed here quite a bit in my time because um, CVS, you guys probably can't tell, but CVS is right there. So when I'm a go couponing at CVS, a lot of times I just walk over to Family Dollar, like right next door. And um, you know, they had better clearance at this one for sure um, than some of the other ones, like really good clearance markdowns and stuff. Um, because literally some Family Dollars I go to, it's like marked down a couple of cents, not even kidding. So um, yeah, but um, I'm really bummed to hear that they're closing because it's been here a long time. Like the cashier said 18 years. And I remember coming in here as a little kid, like with my mom and grandma and stuff. I remember like coming here um, back in the day. So to be losing another store, it's always a sad thing. Um, so I heard on Facebook last night that they were closing. And so I wanted to come on over today because they had mentioned that the closing sale was starting today and they were gonna like announce it or something. It doesn't start till tomorrow. Um, the cashier did give me the deets. So 20% off, which isn't that great. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it like and see once we start getting up to higher percentages. Um, and also guys, if you have that at Family Dollar close, let me know, do they still, um, do the digital coupons still work during the liquidation sale? I would like to know that down below. Um, but I'm sad to see this one go for sure. Now, thankfully, like I said, we do still have three other ones, but you know, it's always sad to see a store go out of business. So, especially one that's been here for 18 years. So I'm sad, very sad to hear about this closure. Um, I don't even think, like I feel really bad the cashier, I don't even think they get transferred to another family dollar based on what I saw on Facebook and what I heard the cashier saying today, like she's talking about applying to other stores, but like, I don't think they're just gonna get transferred to another family dollar, which is really unfair. I feel bad for them. Um, ugh. This year, there's been so many store closures. It's it's really a bummer, but anyways, did that, but um, Family Dollar will be closing. So if you're a local in my town, this location, the one by CVS, Keep your eyes out for the liquidation sale. They close sometime in November. So very sad news though, very sad news. But anyways, guys, I'm about to head over to Kroger and do my video and get a couple of deals myself because there are some really, really good deals at Kroger this week. So I'm just gonna take you guys along for the ride. Um, and yeah, let's do this. Let's go over to Kroger. Oh my gosh, guys, the clearance at Kroger today is on point. I got some really good stuff. So first up, I got the um, Townhouse Pita Crackers. These guys are $2.42, but they're on the Mega Event, which is buy three items, get $2 off of each one. So that makes these 42 cents. And these are really good, by the way. I've been enjoying these with hummus. So picked these up. Also found these Trident Gums. Um, these are $1.56 for three, um, a three pack. So that's a pretty good deal. And then actually for a Christmas gift, I did ask my mom because she loves the um, Myers like cleaning products. She just loves these things. Um, and so they have a bunch of these on clearance. They have the acorn spice variety at Kroger. This is a dollar oh four. This stuff is regularly really expensive. And so I was like, is it's a false scent? And I was like, would you still want this? Like at Christmas? And she was like, yes. So I picked up several of these. Um, and then they also have their, um, dish soaps on clearance too for a dollar 34 um they had some other scents too um but yeah so i'm excited got some pretty good finds at kroger so far today i know it probably sounds rude to some like some moms probably will be offended at like here's some cleaning supplies for christmas but that's that's seriously the kind of stuff my mom likes um so especially the fancy like myers ones or method because you know those are way more expensive and she loves them though. So to get deals on them and stock her up, that'll make her happy. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Guys, I seriously need Kroger to do a crazy deal on the Dawn Power Wash, like the Christmas scent ones, because if we get those for like a dollar, the Power Wash is like my favorite dish soap, like the spray, but it's so expensive, so I don't get it. So hopefully we get a really good clearance. 
All right, guys, I've gotten several items since I last filmed. So I stocked up again on my buy drinks because they're still 99 cents. I know that is a, a little bit expensive, but if you need the regular price of these, that's a good deal. And, you know, I really like these. So I coupon and I can work this in my budget to get these. So I'm stocking up. My favorites are the um, Zimbabwean Cherry and the Clementine. Super exciting. Um, also, I'm so stoked for these. These real good foods on um, barbecue chicken bites. These are gonna be free after a rebate, so I'm super excited for that. Also, I got the Snuggle Fabric Softener. This is like 80 something cents. And then I also got the Colgate mouthwash. This is gonna be $1.49 after my digital, so that's pretty good. Um, I need one more mega event item, so gotta make that happen. Um, but yeah, doing pretty good so far. All right, for my last two mega event items, I decided to do the Hellman's mayonnaise deal again. This is such a phenomenal deal. Um, these come out to be like $1.31 a piece. Awesome deal for the mayonnaise. It's good through May. So yeah, um, a really great price though. So I want to go ahead and grab it because this stuff's like six something normally. Oh my goodness, guys. It is way later now. It is like 8.15 p.m. coming back from church tonight. Um, and I totally saw that a local pizza place here has a Christmas tree up already. Literally a full-on Christmas tree, outdoor Christmas tree, different lights. It was literally just like red and green and some other colors, but it like changes the light color. This is amazing, seriously, but it's October. Like I cannot believe they're already getting their Christmas decor up in October. Like it's not even November yet, it's October, but it's beautiful. So I ain't complaining. A few moments later. Guys, I was wrong. It's actually a Halloween tree. So it keeps changing colors. Like that looks Christmassy, but I finally realized this is a Halloween display because there's bats and spiders. I was over here all excited thinking this was a Christmas tree, but uh, no, it is not. Yeah, it's a lot easier to tell on this side of the parking lot. I originally was over there. I was on the main road and I saw lights and a big tree because they do, they do light this tree up for Christmas. I was like, do they already have their Christmas lights up? But um, yeah, really weird. So I came around originally over there and I didn't like see all these like images, like moving image things like that. I That kind of could be Christmassy. Um, but over here, I can tell the images like spiders and bats and stuff. They're doing it for Halloween. But um, in Christmas, like when it's Christmas time, this will be a full-fledged Christmas display. But honestly, it kind of looks Christmas like these colors. Like that does not scream Halloween or fall to me. So is this a Christmas display slash a fall display? Okay, guys, this is my favorite angle. This is like fall colors. I like that better um, than the spooky stuff. That is really awesome. I love that. A fall lights display. You don't ever hear that. Fall lights display. I know all about the Christmas lights displays, but a fall lights display. Pretty cool. Guys, I don't even celebrate Halloween, so the spooky stuff isn't appealing to me, but I do, I can get behind that fall tree. I love that. That is like beautiful. I love that. I'm so glad driving in from church, just happened to see a tree with lights. And I was like, what's up with that? So I was like, pull into the parking lot and let's see what's up with that. And so I could show you guys. All right, guys, it is now 10 31 PM. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlogtober, get this uploaded. I believe it's edited. Um, I usually edit as I go. So like Throughout the day, I'll just add the clips in or whatever. So I think all of that is a go. Just double checking real quick. Yes. Um, but I want to film this little outro, wrap of the day, get this. I'm edited and uploaded for you guys. So you have a Vlogtober on Thursday. Three more left after this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know it's been a little bit different um, than other years. Um, I like to look back on other years' Vlogtober. So like 2021 um, was the kickoff of my Etsy shop. Um, that's no longer a thing, but I did run that for a couple of years and then I'm um, just other stuff going on. Um, it's really cool to see how life changes over, you know, the years or whatever. This is actually like my fourth vlogtober. So it's really crazy to see where life is at over the years during vlogtober. It's honestly like a walk down memory lane and it's cool to get to see like what I did in the past and different projects I've done, different things I've shared. Like guys, I was vlogging while I was still in college and so to go back and see like where things were then, it's it's awesome. I love getting to do that. Um, and so yeah, I get to see these like fun things and where I was in life. So all of the different like changes over the years. And that's something I really like about Vlogtober. Now this year has been different because for 2024, I haven't been able to share as much of like my work stuff. Well, I have like couponer, yes. But I actually, if you didn't know, if you've been following along the vlogs, you probably do. But if you, maybe this is like your first vlog you're seeing or you missed it or whatever, um, I actually have another like actually three different clinicians I work for 
um, doing various things. So there's billing in there, there's credentialing in there, which is basically getting, um, you know, practitioners and network with the insurance companies. Um, also, I do promotions like website, social media posting for these, um, you know, practices, um, admin kind of stuff, like one of the clinicians needed a referral form. So I made that. Honestly, I get to do a bunch of different things, which is cool. I like having the like different experiences, like getting to do different things and stuff. So yeah, it's been cool. But since these are medical offices, I'm not like able to share this with you guys, obviously. Um, so yeah, there's like less stuff that I'm able to vlog, but I've still been doing what I can. And I think it's still been really fun. Um, you know, taking you guys along, we'll have a like coupon or that's still a thing. You know, I can still take you guys along with that. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying it. So I hope you guys have been enjoying Vlogtober. Um, come back on Saturday for another one. We are on the home stretch. Three more Vlogtobers left. So you're going to want to make sure y'all stay tuned for those. And um, yeah, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching.